Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. So I'll show you how much more I've stacked uh, in a moment. I'm taking a break from that for a moment. And uh, I wanted to talk about uh, topic of the video, fruits of your labor, right? So uh, when, I, uh, when I first got down here to the property, the first trees we planted was this cherry tree, that pear tree, that pear tree, and then the first uh, cherry tree that you see there. Now, I did not have a fence around that one. I've never had a fence around these ones, but I did not have a fence around that one. The deer never messed with these ones, I guess maybe because they were too close to the house. But in the first two years that we had the trees, they ate that tree down to the nub. And so uh, I wasn't sure if that tree was even going to make it back and come back, but it did, um, and it's doing very, very well now. But uh, you see the difference in size. There's that tree, and this tree planted at the exact same time. So fruits of our labor. A couple things uh, I do want to point out. People said, oh, yeah, uh, pear trees will never take here. They're never going to work. So, you know, that they're like it's a waste of time planting pear trees, okay? So I'm going to show you something here. We'll just start here. You guys can see that. All the pears that are going to be on there. Uh, there's more right here. All right, we're going to walk around over here a little bit. Right there is going to be a bunch more pears. Ah, uh, let's see. We got some growing here. Uh, there's another grouping here. There's a grouping there. And uh, there's another grouping right here. Uh, you can see over there, there's more coming there. So we're going to have a lot of pears. There's another grouping right here, okay? Uh, we'll walk around to this other tree and we will take a look at what's going on with this one. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't think this tree's gonna have any this year. So the pear trees generally are every other year. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any pears off of this tree this year. But if you look here, there's more pears coming there. Uh, more pears coming here. So this tree over here, uh, more there. That This year, this tree is producing this year, this tree's not. So it should be opposite next year. Next year, this pear tree should do very well and that one should have nothing but uh we had last year uh i think there was two or three pears on that tree that was it two or three pears on that tree i don't think that one had any last year so they're getting mature enough now now they're going to start producing which is great now the cherries come every year all right uh, cherries are every year so you got some coming in here uh, there's cherries here, and, uh, uh, more cherries over here. We'll go over here, you can see cherries coming in up here, cherries coming in there. So, decent amount of cherries. Last year, uh, this tree had a lot more cherries than it does now, but it's still got, uh, a decent amount of cherries coming in um, on this tree. So, but anyway, the point is this, if I had done nothing, we would have nothing. And so, uh, again, the mistake that I made personally, and I, I will tell you over and over and over and over again, I put in saplings. I put in very small saplings and it took years. This is uh, the ninth year that these trees here have been on the property. And uh, so, you know, realistically, this is the first year for the pears that we're gonna have a really good crop. Last year was the first year for this cherry tree that we got a really good crop. Uh, so it just, um, you know, buy more mature trees. And that would be my advice to anybody that's thinking about uh, buying trees. The trees that we got in uh, West Virginia or a more mature tree. Uh, that's the way to go because we should have, now this year we'll get no fruit off those trees. Next year we might get a little bit, 
uh, the year after that we should do a lot better. So when you're buying the more mature tree, it makes all the difference in the world. So I'll show you how far I am in here. Uh, so I got this side uh, pretty high, as you can see. Uh, got quite a bit. I This part was probably there, when, and the rest was a lot lower. So I've just been working that way and just kind of slowly uh, building back. I will just continue to do that, and we'll see how high we get. Uh, we'll see how much wood um, I end up getting. Uh, I will continue to go higher here. I'll probably go uh, up up to the top, like up to the top of here, level across. Uh, that'll be more than enough. I don't want it too high that uh, if Heather's trying to get wood off there, that it's going to fall on her. So, but uh, made a good dent in the pile so far, uh, and I'm just going to continue to do that. But we're going to walk over here real quick. And the thing is, folks, uh, again, if you're not doing anything, if you're not making forward progress, and nothing is ever going to happen. So there, there's the fruits of your labor. If you're, now look at us here, guys. Lots of cherries this year on this one here, see? A lot of cherries on there. Uh, this tree has come back very, very nicely. Uh, this cherry tree is only... God, I'm trying to think when we planted this one. This one was planted later. And you can see it's doing fantastic. And there's a lot of cherries um, coming in on this tree as well. So that is awesome. Uh, these two here, I think I told you, I think are plum trees. I'm not seeing anything yet. And on those ones, or actually, what do we got here? What is that? That's, uh, that is not part of the tree. I don't know what that is. It's a bush that is in there with the tree. Uh, looks like raspberries, I think. Not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. But you can see that's coming up in the midst of the tree. So, I don't know. I'll have to get in there and do something about that. Uh, these guys here, these are peach trees as well. And uh, I am not... Oh, there's like a start of one right there. What do we got over on this one? Looks like there's a couple things starting. Not a whole lot on these guys. Uh, but uh, huh, we'll see what they do. You can see right there is a peach right there. So, but uh, it takes time. Uh, it takes time. It is uh, the grapes. Uh, those are the, we planted, I think four uh, grape plants originally. Two of them survived, as you can see there. And then we put up the new fencing last year so they could continue to spread. We're gonna have to actually put up more so they can go uh, further that way as well. I had planted a couple more last year. Obviously they did not take, so there's nothing there on this end. But uh, those ones, those ones look good. And those got pruned back really, really hard. And uh, so we're gonna walk back over to this other side here, guys. We're going to walk over here. I want to look at these peach trees again. Uh, last year, these two peach trees did really, really well. So I just kind of want to get an idea of what they're looking like this year. Oh, yeah, you can see there's peaches coming. You can see them. They're all starting on this one again. It's weird. You'll get a tree. Uh, we had a tree, a peach tree. Uh, down in um, when we lived in Greece, New York. Yeah, you can see all the peaches here. See them all? They're coming in. Uh, so we had a peach tree down there that was a little bitty stubby tree, and I'd get 30, 40 peaches on that tree every year. But yeah, a lot of peaches coming in. You can see all the peaches. So that's going to be good. That'll be a good harvest uh, with these trees. Now these guys here, these are also plum. 
and I'm not seeing anything yet with the plum trees. Maybe they got to be more mature and older. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I think part of the problem with these two guys, uh, these two plum trees here, is the fact that they're shaded so much by these other trees. I think that might be part of the problem. And there's Mr. Max coming over. Hey, Maxie. Hey, baby boy. And then the puppies are in the run. Uh, chickens are doing well. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, fruit to your labor, guys. If you're not putting those trees in and getting them started. And I had somebody said, oh, yeah, you're planting all those fruit trees down in West Virginia. So somebody else five years from now, when you sell the property, can enjoy them. You know, first of all, I'm not selling the property. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen to me down the road? Uh, you know, who knows what our life expectancy? None of us do. But if down the road, SHTF, when it happens, and we got a whole bunch of fruit trees in there, and uh, people are able to enjoy that and harvest those you know, uh, pears and uh, peaches and apples and uh, cherries and whatever else we get in there, you know, uh, and they're able to harvest them and enjoy them. Hopefully, they will think back and think fondly of old Prepper Nurse One because he had the foresight to get them in the ground um, ahead of time. Uh, it's a huge, huge, important renewable resource that's there. It's obviously good for the planet as well uh, with having bees. It's even better. You're going to have uh, better pollination uh, with your fruit trees and stuff like that because the bees are right there. They're going to take care of their job and do what they need to do. So, you know, whatever you're trying to do, guys, you know, you will reap the fr fruits of your labor. You will absolutely reap the fruits of your labor. If you put in the effort, good things happen. Uh, if you do nothing, guess what? Nothing happens. Nothing positive anyway. So to me, it's like, even if I go slowly and get things done methodically and slowly, guess what? It's getting done. Uh, just like we're stacking this wood. I mean, it may not look like a whole lot of wood to some of you, and that's okay. I don't really care. Uh, but, you know, just uh, if I had done nothing today, none of this wood would be stacked, right? That's the way I look at it. So if I'm sitting here and I go, okay, I'll just kind of prod along and, just go at my own slow pace and, and do what I can, guess what? A lot of wood gets stacked. And at the end of the day, I feel satisfied because, number one, I've gotten some good exercise. Uh, number two, uh, the wood is now out of the weather. Uh, probably won't be burnt this year, but it will be burnt next year. And it's there. And uh, so, you know, and I can do that for my daughter all day, every day of the week, and I will always do that. Uh, you know, to put her in a situation where she's going to be successful. All right, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that is going to stop you from achieving your goal is you. That's it, nobody else. Uh, set realistic goals, set about to making them happen, and before you know it, things get done. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.